All right, and uh, welcome to this episode number 31. This is gonna be about Decal Machine once again. So, we're gonna have a look at uh, uh, some updates we got. Um, and one is actually one I suggested, so I'm really happy about that one. Um, yeah, needless to say, let's jump into Blender and have a look at it. So, here we are in Blender. Um, I have a box here that I kind of violated with decals. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to start with uh, one of the features that I'm really happy about. So let's say I want to add a decal uh, next to this uh, uh, handle or what is it? Uh, anyway, in this spot where my cursor is. So I just press D key, choose the decal I want to add. Boom, it's added exactly where the mouse is located so that's really nice there's a setting for it uh, which is on by default decal align ray cost and you can use cursor if you want to but uh, I'm gonna leave it at ray cost because uh, this makes it so much more fun <laughs> and, and another feature I kind of missed is that um, let's clean up a bit so I'm going to add um, this weird, um, uh, this one. Uh, all right. Not that one. I'm going to take another one. Um, this one. So it's added where the cursor is, but as you can see, it's kind of too big. So I'm going to scale it down to the size that I like. Um, and now I can bring up the decal menu and save the scale of this one so if this match the object scale or world scale you're creating now when I add a new one it's gonna be the same it's gonna have that size so that's a feature that was there all the time I just missed it or didn't really understood it so let's try and add it um, was it this one yeah yeah, so the scale is stored, which is really, really nice. And this scale, which I was setting, is just, it's a global scale. So kind of depends on, on your uh, model scale that you're modeling on. But uh, those two are two really nice features. And we can try and find a semi-available spot. And add one decal here on the bevel. So I'm going to take a semi-tricky one, maybe this one. And as you can see, it's uh, raycasting perfectly. You got the uh, normal, face normal calculation done right. Uh, you can also turn on face snapping over here, which I kind of like. Then when you grab it, you can see the orange line kind of indicates the face normal uh, direction. I'm going to put it there, just scale it down a bit and project it. Super simple, super fun, making decal machine even faster to work with. Um, I'm going to jump into this scene where I have made this kind of weird medicine box or something. Um, it has two materials on them, base one and base two. So base one is this white uh, plastic and um, base two is this uh, green metallic, yeah. So let's add a plane, kind of get it where they're intersecting and uh, use the slice. We can see some kind of uh, problems here, but um, first of all, I'm gonna decal adjust and um, to change the panel type you hold control and well sorry I kind of scale it up hold control and scroll so there is one with the wider gap that's the one I'm gonna use and we can kind of make it a bit bigger so in a bit from the get-go we can see here that the top part is green and it should be white it should be looking better if it was white I guess the plane was a bit 
uh, hitting the green the base 2 material more than the base 1 but to fix it we just go into um, material match and hold shift and scroll until, until it says base 1 so I'm just gonna add some decals here to show some of the features and some part I missed uh, we can add this kind of hatchet here um, or uh, yeah bolted uh, uh, I forgot the word door <laughs> no but anyway if I want to add a decal above it um, let's add a semi tricky one like this one okay that one worked I'm gonna try and find one that doesn't really work Yeah, so you can see it doesn't matter how much I adjust the height on this one. It's never going to appear above the uh, the door, the, this one. So we're going to adjust it. And at the bottom you see alpha blend, alpha hashed. So we're going to toggle the mode. And now it can appear above it. Once again, I'm just going to turn on the face snapping so we can play stuff a bit easier um, and just to show it once again the ray casting let's hold the mouse on this uh, bevel weird part and add um, uh, some kind of handle maybe this one you can see it's um, added nicely we can store the scale and project it and adjust it a bit. And now I'm going to show you another feature that's kind of neat to have. So let's bring up the Pi menu and get the backup, which is actually the decal before projected. You can use it for uh, the slicing objects also if you want to get them back and adjust them and stuff like that. And with the face snapping, it's uh, super fun, super easy to play stuff. I'm just going to rotate this one and uh, project it onto the surface. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I can show you one more thing. I don't know if, if it's the correct way, but it's the way I've used it. So let's take this one. Um, and maybe you noted know these materials are getting i guess it's getting it from the ray casting so it worked kind of not neat if um, if i would to add the same decal over here at the green part um yeah it gets the it gets the it gets it gets the correct um, material white green boom um you can always go into the texture and uh, kind of add um, edge loop it's kind of stretching the texture a bit uh, destroying it but um, you can use correct UVs um, and just adjust the textures and in this mode you should probably don't want to have face normal uh, snapping um, so with this um, Ray casting and storing the scales becomes super easy, super fun to add stuff. Um, yeah, basically, I could go on doing this uh, uh, box, but I don't really want to. Um, I guess that's it for this episode. So, yeah, have a nice weekend uh, and a happy blending and uh, hopefully we can see this. Uh, it's probably a bit, um, as I said, it's probably a bit uh, left to do on the add-on. I've seen uh, some files in the to-do to list and there are quite a few. But, um, yeah, I'm going to continue playing around with the machine uh, and explore the features. Um, yeah, 
have a nice Saturday and happy blending. Bye.